Welcome back, guys. I'm joined by Vin Benani. Vin, uh, this is a wingspan. Obviously, this is a very popular game, especially this expansion. And uh, could you take us through the interface right now? Because, again, uh, with Tabletopia's features, it, it's, it's very easy to play these games. It feels like we're actually just sitting in front of the board. And uh, we have the advantage right now of uh, the video um, in chat display that's down here, which is which is great. So uh, we have everything we need to play. Take us through the, how the game works when you're dealing with the interface in Tabletopia. Sure. I mean, look, first of all, it's great playing on Tabletopia. You can retain a lot of the experience, obviously, playing in real life with the, with the actual physical board. You have all the great artwork and everything laid out for you. But, you know, I always like to point out the first easiest and for me, as an average game, as an average board game player, one of the best advantages about playing in a digital space like Tabletopia is right here in front of us. We load it into a fresh game, and we don't have to take 15 minutes to set up the board, place everything. Yeah, all the setup is gone. Everywhere. That's it. Yeah, that that is it's, probably the, one of the best things. Yeah. Yeah, and right now you can see the game is set up. It's actually not fully set up, but that's because it's set up to the point where we, as the players coming in, have to make choices. So we have our player board set up, but if you also notice, our bird deck is is uh, ready to go. We have to draw a starting hand, and we'll go from there. But right. also one particular advantage that I really want to show um, that Tabletopia as, as an interface helps shine is that little blue bag up over here. If you mouse over it, it opens up a little bit. And you can see that there's icons in there. And if you right click on it, or not right click on it, I'm sorry. Yeah, if you right click on it, there's a little wheel that comes up and you can take them out. That actually stores the gold pieces, the gold tiles that are over here on our, our tracker board to the right. And the interesting thing about that is there's a mechanic in the game where we have to draw these tiles, right? But they're double sided. So how do you draw them without knowing what one of the tiles is? Well, here now right. everything is shuffled and we don't have to see it. All right, so let's start actually taking a look at your board. If you scroll over to your board, Tony. You got it. And now over here we have, like I was saying before, everything's ready to go. It's ready to set up. We just need to actually build our starting position. Right. So what we want to do is draw five cards from the birds deck. Okay. Is you draw so five? Sure. And now you have your five cards that you get to pick from, your five birds to start with. And as we know, when you're playing bird, when you're playing Oceana and you're selecting your starting birds, what you're doing is you're picking your your choice of birds, but you also have to give up some resources. So down below your board, Tony, if you want to show everybody, we have five starting resources and actually six with the Oceana expansion because now we have the nectar, which is that pink symbol in the upper left. Right. So for the cards that we're drawing to start with, what we're doing is saying, okay, we're going to take one to five of these cards. You want to have at least one. Um, I mean, some people don't have to. And for every card that you keep in your hand, you're going to take away one of those pieces of food and put them back in the general pile. So, Tony, right. maybe you want to grab some of uh, – maybe you want to take, let's say, the American Guildfinch there that you have on the right. The Goldfinch, I'm sorry. Okay. So we'll keep that in our hand for right now, and let's get rid of the others. Okay. So you take those cards, put them to the side, and we're going to discard those. I'll do my setup over here. I can grab my uh, my cards, put them out. Right. I'm going to try to keep something. You know, I'm going to keep one card myself. I'll put the others in the discard. And we're playing through here, obviously, quickly. And I'm going to return one of my food. I'm actually also going to return a fish token here. And I'm going to do the same action. I'm going to take this whoop, and put the action on that tile there. And I'm going to grab this type of food. So you notice, again, for people who have played, if you scroll in on my, my board over here, Tony, people who play Wingspan, you'll notice that I'm placing the action token over here on the gain food in this forest habitat. And I'm allowed to take one die. I can also discard a... Uh, a card from my hand if I so choose to get another die one time on this action but I'm just content with taking the one extra food and that will go back to your turn okay so coming back to your side just very simply we'll, we'll play out one of your uh, we'll play out the bird out of your hand so for this action to play a bird what you have to do is take your action token from the uh, the left side over here Take it and place it up, you know, as you would playing the physical game, right? We're putting the action token up to the side and play your card out to its habitat, its matching habitat. 
So, so that, that's a pretty much a, a sample of uh, playing the game. As you can see, that uh, has been pointed out earlier on. There's no setup, which is great. So, so for some of the strategy games, it's, it's wonderful to not have to go through that process. Uh, you do have the video chat on the bottom, so you can see each other and obviously speak to each other. And uh, it's pretty easy to use, use the interface. When you're taking cards, you can put them in your hand. You can discard them. It's exactly, uh, It's I want to say it's very close to playing in person. Um, so that's it, guys. On Tabletopia.com, you can find many, many more games like this. Check them out, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.